What's up guys and welcome to Open Ice Hits with scotty to hockey In this video I will be discussing the Montreal Canadiens and I will be giving my three bold predictions that I think are going to happen this year involving the Habs. I did it last year. I was two out of three if you want to go check out that video around this time last year I did a video. I was two out of three on my predictions. I was pretty close on the third one as well. But anyways, let's get right into it. As you can tell by the man on your screen, this part is going to be about Carey Price. My first bold prediction is that Kiri Price will win the Vesna Trophy. Some may call that crazy, but that's your opinion. I'll give you my reasoning why I think this. At 34 years of age and coming off of knee surgery this offseason, not his first lower body surgery as well, some fans may not have high expectations for Kiri Price, but I personally am not one of those fans. I honestly think Kiri Price will be the best goalie in the NHL this upcoming season, and he will win his second Vesna after being an elite goalie for over a decade. In this league, Carey Price came only three wins away from finally getting to drink champagne at the Lord Stanley's Cup this year, and I believe this will be enough fuel to spark the fire we all know Carey Price still has left in him. He's only 34 years old. He's not an old man yet, which is why I expect to see a hungry and focused and on-point Carey Price this year, and I genuinely think if he doesn't win the Vesna, he'll be in the running, but I think he will win that Vesna trophy. For my second bowl prediction, and this one will probably be a little bit controversial with some fans because of what happened with the guy this season, leaving for personal reasons, which we all don't know why, I'm going to say that Jonathan Drouin redeems himself this year in Montreal and has an excellent season for the Habs. After exiting this season for personal reasons, Jonathan Drouin is set to return for the upcoming season with Montreal. We can all speculate as to why he left, but I, for one, am just glad to have him back because I've always been a Drouin fan, and I think this season we will see the Drouin we all expect to see when he got traded from Tampa, that young, exciting player that came out of junior that in Montreal hasn't been awful, but we can definitely say he's been mediocre at points for sure. And one reason I think Drew Ann will thrive this year is a, as a, primarily as a playmaking winger. Having players like Cole Caulfield to pass to and Mike Hoffman to play with on the power play, I could easily see him upping his assist totals this year, upping his overall point totals as well, and really having a good, impactful year for the Montreal Canadiens. I want to see him thrive and do well, because this guy has definitely had his ups and downs in Montreal. He's definitely faced a lot of scrutiny. A lot of people don't think he's worth his cap hits, and some players, some fans want to see him get traded, and some players on the team probably do as well after what happened this season. I'd like to see him reduce himself and I think he's going to do it this year in Montreal and play excellent hockey. And for my third and final bold prediction for this upcoming season for the Montreal Canadiens, we got my man Cole Caulfield is going to lead the Montreal Canadiens in goals as a rookie. On a team that has solid goal scoring already, like Mike Hoffman, Tyler Toffoli, Brendan Gallagher, I think the young, dynamic rookie Cole Caulfield will outscore every other Hab this year. It is clear this kid has elite-level goal-scoring skills and an absolute laser of a wrist shot. His wrist shot is so good, it's up there with like Austin Matthews and Law and A level of wrist shot. And what really stands out to me about Cole is his ability to create goal-scoring chances out of nowhere and immediately transition up the ice using his speed to blow by defenders and using his silky mitts to fool them in one-on-one -on -one situations and get to the net. We especially seen that in the Vegas series in the playoffs. He has the ability and natural instincts you only see in the absolute best goal scorers in the game. I honestly think Caulfield will score at least 35 goals this year, if not 30, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think he's going to hit 35 plus goals this year and lead Montreal in scoring as a rookie. And in my opinion, if he does that, he's definitely going to be a Calder candidate as well, if not win the Calder. So I expect big things from Cole Caulfield this year, and mainly I expect him to lead the Montreal Canadiens in goals as a rookie. That's my three bowl predictions for this year, guys. Go Habs, go.